do that, then take some of your calls. Statuary Hall, Representative Randy Nagelbauer of the 19th District in uh, Texas. Yours was one of, one of only 11 amendments to be considered today in this economic stimulus legislation. What would, the, what would your amendment do? Well, my amendment would actually strike the appropriation piece uh, from the bill and primarily just make it a tax piece. Uh, and uh, quite honestly, this is uh, what the American people actually want. When you look at uh, overwhelmingly, the American people are very concerned about uh, a Congress trying to spend their way out of this situation, spend and borrow with record level deficits. Uh, what the American taxpayers uh, and American people have said is they believe that the tax incentive for Americans and small businesses is a better plan. And so really this becomes the American people's uh, bill uh, if, in fact, uh, my amendment passes. So your amendment would take all the spending out and just leave the tax uh, provisions in? The, the, the discretionary appropriation of spending, about $355 billion. Um, what, did, what are you finding that the most immediate need is in your district, in the 19th district there in Texas? What are you hearing from uh, your constituents? Well, I think what I'm hearing from my constituents is they're very concerned uh, the course that's been taken, that, that uh, all of this money has been spent. Uh, they've not seen a lot of accountability and transparency in how this money has been spent when we look at the TARP program. And now they're looking at record deficits, uh, $1.2 trillion, uh, latest GAO uh, uh, estimate. And now we're talking about uh, a, a bill that could very well uh, reach uh, over a trillion dollars. And when you add interest in it, it is over a trillion dollars. And they're very concerned that we're trying to, to spend and, and uh, borrow uh, from the next generation our, our way out of this predicament. I think what a lot of people are saying is we may just kind of have to tighten our belt. That's what families in West Texas and in my congressional district are doing. And they really want uh, the, the federal government to kind of tighten their belts as well. What do you think of the Democrats' arguments that um, the, a lot of economists have called that this is the way that do government spending is the way to uh, jumpstart the economy again? Well, when you look back historically, uh, that, that hasn't always been the case. And when you look at what uh, happened in Japan, uh, uh, they tried some of, this, some of these same techniques and that didn't work. Uh, I think what we have to step back and look at is particularly on these, a lot of these spending provisions aren't something that will even uh, occur in 2009. Uh, we haven't even uh, settled how much we're going to spend on some of these programs in our regular budget. And so we're going to have a, a spending bill in the next couple of weeks and determine how much uh, out of our normal budget uh, that we're going to spend for these programs. Uh, right behind that, uh, then we've got this uh, this uh, 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 stimulus bill. Uh, we haven't even seen the president's uh, uh, bill for 2010, and I just think it's premature to go on a spending uh, binge when we don't even know uh, what we've already budgeted or are going to spend on some of these programs, so we don't even know how much we're adding to them. Uh, and we've done it with no hearing or no oversight. And quite honestly, I think some of the people that, uh, for example, that we heard got laid off this week uh, don't think that uh, planting sod and uh, spending money for the arts is going to bring any real meaningful job opportunities for them. This, some of the spending that your amendment would strip out, would you be in favor of it if it had gone through sort of the regular appropriations process? Well, some of these things are things we're already spending money for in the a normal appropriation process, and I don't think we've even looked in to see how much, we don't know how much we were going to spend to begin with, but now we're going to add to it. I think it makes better sense for a lot of these programs to go through a normal uh, process, appropriation process, vet these projects. And I think the number one litmus test that we need to be looking at is remember this is a stimulus bill and how much stimulus will these actions provide and, and I don't think we've had an opportunity to determine that. It's a virtual grab bag. We've had uh, a special interest group from all over the country in here for the last uh, month. Uh, and when you look at the, all of the different areas where we're spending, it's, it's a virtual grab bag. And I don't think the American people want their money spent foolishly in, 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 in a hastily, hastily way. And, and I think they're very concerned about it. Representative Randy Nagabauer of Texas, Republican, thank you for making time for us. Thank you, Bill. And a procedural vote here on that $825 billion economic stimulus plan. An hour of general debate, 11 amendments to be considered, taking your calls on how you think your representative should